Hey everybody, welcome to the Relic Blade Battle Report. I'm back with Owen from Game with the Cooler, and we're taking on the second mission from Storms of Corral, the new two-player battle set for Relic Blade Second Edition. Um, and this is the uh, Shattered Cleft, basically. If you haven't watched the first mission, we're using this new two-player box, um, which comes with quick start rules and stuff like that, to play through a linked series of three games. They're sort of procedurally generated missions, each with a different relic, with different rules, as we battle our way up a mountain into a magical storm to try and prevent either the world from ending or getting cool stuff as the world ends. Uh, with the advocates and the adversaries. So we're using the forces from the box. We'll show you the table, uh, show you the mission, and get this underway. Here we are set up for mission to the Shattered Pass with the adversaries and the advocates facing off on a giant, broken, ancient bridge on their way up the mountain during the Storms of Corral. So uh, once again, on the adversary side, we have the Dark Prophet. He's currently carrying our first relic, the Ancient Skull. The Iguan Marauder, who has Gauntlets of Strength and Wildland Accuracy as upgrades. With Slayer Squid and Destroyer Pig. Um, who are my last two members. And then finally there is, on the Advocate side, the Warden of Justice, who's got the Quicksilver Bands for an extra free two-inch move action each turn. The Lone Guard Infiltrator, the Gnome Grenadier, and the Wild Elf Witch. There are two from the, um, the Storms of Corral is the Shattered Clef. Rivers of torrential rains poured down the rocky cliffs as the party sped across the ancient stone bridge. A heart-stopping crack rumbled deep in the stonework and in an instant the Lone Guard Infiltrator, Emon, leapt to cling to the far side of the ravine. The action was pure instinct. There wasn't an instant to think as the towering bridge crashed into the abyss below. Snapping to take in the scene, Emon noticed his left hand clamped to the gnome's backpack. He swung her small body to the ridge above and she uttered a grateful squeak, still clutching her long gun. A familiar voice called from below, there's another door down here, we'll have to enter the temple separately and meet up at the gatehouse. Even heard Odette grumble in her small voice, never split the party. Two by two area is set up, um, and we placed a treasure token and snare token to six inches of the relic, which is placed in the center of the board. So here's our treasure token, and there is our objective token. Um, then we roll up, sorry, the players divide the party into two and roll for initiative. The player then initiative deploys their split force separately and within two forces of two opposing corners, so on either side. Uh, their opponent then forces their uh, deploys their forces on the remaining two corners. We deployed. We do our chaotic relic reveal to see what kind of relic is in the center. Uh, groups are going to be prophet and the pig, and the iguan rotter and the squid, and then you're going to go wizard and gnome, and then warden and infiltrator in your group. Initiative to see who's picking uh, which corner to deploy. You get to pick, so you can go this way or that way. I know it's it's opposites. Oh. Ground floor corners, and I'll go up high. Forces deployed. I got my squid, and my guan over here, and my prophet, and my pig over here. You've got your gnome and the wild elf, and across from you, you've got the warden and the infiltrator. Reveal what relic we've encountered. It's the helm of legend. It's plus one damage, minus one difficulty on all actions. Amazing. Gain one plus one attack. Uh, damage to attacks and actions are much more difficult. That's an amazing relic. Uh, so the advocate player gains and equips the inner mastery tactic, and the adversary gets war paint automatically. So you get any inner mastery, I get war paint from the deck. Shadow of Legends, any actions performed within five of the relic are plus one difficulty and cannot critically succeed. And then Ancient Spirit, activate the Ancient Spirit to move the relic token five inches towards the spirit. If the relic is being carried by a character, it's ripped from their hands when it moves. If the relic token touches the spirit, the spirit's destroyed and removed from play. So this is the spirit over here, the the book. So you can basically suck the thing forward. Uh, and then victory conditions, fifth recovery phase, the player holding the relic's victorious. If one player has disabled or destroyed all enemy characters, they're automatically victorious. He's holding it, it's destroyed and lost to history. So the, what do you give an inner peace, inner mastery to? His ability is called inner peace for the rege regenerate. Yep. I got inner mastery, okay. so I'm giving it to the lone guard. There you go, and what so does he get? Cal drops on a two. On two plus, sweet. War paint, fighter and barbarian only. Enemy characters do not gain a charge bonus against this character. So if you charge me, no attack. To the destroyer pig because he's gonna get into melee quite often and doesn't want to get charged. First round one is you won the initiative roll, so we get to pick a model and have them go first. Well, Mr. Warden, you might as well do your thing. And he's gonna do his free two inch move. Yep, from his uh, quicksilver bands. And then one, two. What happens when I'm near this one this time? Not much. Uh, if you're within five inches of it, the everything's five a plus one difficulty and it's um, can't no possibility of critical success. We'll sit just outside then and focus dodge. Actually, roll the dodge. You'd have to roll a two plus the dodge because that's focus. That's right. That's why we didn't go this that. It's still pretty easy, but not that easy. I think we just go with uh, Mr. Destroyer Pig, and he's just gonna start running because he needs to get the hell off this mountain. He's gonna go four and then four again and then dodge. And be like, I don't want to die. Bring it up. One, two. He's going to go closer to it. Okay. Three. And then he'll focus dodge. So two plus to focus. Nope. nope. And then dodge. 
Yes, he gets one dodge token instead of two. Oh, I kind of want to try and bap her before she gets to dodge. So I think we go move, move with the Iguan. And shoot. And then shoot. Yeah, so I think we go move, move six to here. Can't, can't shoot too far away. That's right. Uh, well, yes, if it was one dice, I'd be able to. But I think I just focus dodge my next one. Move and then use my fate weave. I could inspire to gain a dice and then shoot. It's, it's plus one to the action. It's not um, plus one AD to this activation. So I don't actually get the, yeah. the extra attack or extra bonus dice there. Well then, yeah, I think it's just focus dodge. Iris using my shield doesn't make any sense. No, let's not go with Jeff. Let's go gnome. Uh, so I know that I'm just outside of 12 right now. Yep. We might as well just pot shot you. We'll move up three. Maybe we'll just roll real good as we give you a, a casual gun. Go for it. Ah, right in the kisser. Hits. Plus three. Plus three dire, so no more. Eight. Eight. I get 2d6 because I'll use my dodge token, my first one. Eight. Okay. You're all right. Nine, actually, because I've been obscured. Dodges for her last one. It's going to go. Uh, he's going to move twice for four. Put himself there. And I think we'll check 10. 10, so I think we do a, I want to throw a corrode. You only have one dodge. I could also just focus a decay, because then I poison you. Uh, so we'll focus and then decay on a four plus. And hit, so you're poisoned. Minus one action dice, and then it's plus two. That's a six. We're just gonna one dice it. Oh. Four, four, take two. Yep. Uh, it's Three left and not quite injured. The ally takes damage, three can go to the warden. So he'll take two that's and it. that's it. Well, we got two dice left, so we will shoot him again on a four. Miss, and then we'll dodge. Birdman continues to bird. It's left. Well, let's chuck a gnome. <laughs> no tossing. I no. And then we're going to move, move, focus dodge. So we will walk four. And then double dodge. And we'll stand there. One, uh, no recovery rolls necessary. Oh, Squidly, I forgot about Squidly. It's not end of round one. He's gonna, you might go first, but I don't think it matters. We have five dice moving three each, so we can go six, nine, ten. Pick up. That one you have to roll for. It's a treasure. Well done. Uh, and so round two, no recovery is necessary. Let's roll for initiative. Can't beat a six. Nope. So you are going first. Here we go. Yep. Loses his double dodge. He's going to do inner peace on a four. Uh, do we want to focus this? No. Nope. Ah, I should have focused it. Doesn't get that. So he's got three, three left. Three left, yep. Uh, he'll go... Hmm. It's a six plus to pick up this relic because it's so powerful. It's automatic. Action dice, that's right, yeah, yeah. The relic's automatic. I forgot, yeah. it's the scenario item is um, gonna be plus one. Really wanted that heal. One to go here. So that's two of his dice. Oh, sorry, he has a two inch free move. That's what I'm, that's what I'm forgetting. I'm like, I know I could do this before in one because I only have to get within half of it. You got it, yep. And then a three inch step. There. That's two, so that's two actions total. Mm -hmm. Three to pick it up. And Actually, then, wouldn't you have to roll a two plus to move? Cause, no, because move doesn't have a dice value. Oh, it doesn't have a dice value. Same right. with picking up. Got it. Um, so he picks it up, and then he will use his last one to dodge and wear this hat. Got it. Taking the, the helm. I think uh, that means it's a Guan Marauder time, or it's Squidly time. The Squidly, I feel like, needs to be the one to go. My third action with a charge, fourth to entangle, fifth to stop again. Yeah, let's do it. So that's going to be six, and then it's half inch for melee. Okay. Stub, attack, it's the dagger on a four plus for Slayer Squid. Crit, so it's plus five damage. Let's see what I get. Nine, well, we're gonna use that sweet dodge. dodge. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. Stab again, or we could dodge stab, which would give us an extra dice of damage. We'll dodge, stab, missed. I only have uh, dodge before I did anything else this turn, because that would give me the extra damage dice on Squidly. I'm gonna focus flashbang. Okay. Bam. So I'm pushed. And and hits. So stun and then plus four. Seven. Seven. We'll use our dodge. 
And get 11. Next turn from stun. Last one. It's an action. It's I don't have an engagement this turn. You can just walk away from me, basically. Well, then let's go with the Dark Prophet. I'm gonna throw a Corrode out on this guy. On a five, misses. And we'll focus and then throw a decay on a four plus. Hits. Poison. Plus two, poison. Ah, uh, it's a seven. Mm, that's pretty bad. I need to roll a five. Yeah, he's hurt. You should just do it. It'll Spend the dodge. Oh, two dice. He's fine. He's good. And two left. I'll focus, or sorry, I'll um, do another corrode. Misses. And then dodge. Which. She's going to use Razor Winds on... Squidly? Squidly. No! He's just in the wind right he, now. He is, literally. Three plus. Hits. Crits. Crits plus two damage, or plus, plus three damage. Plus two. So it's four damage Four now. damage. Six. Uh, plus one armor. I'm good. Mm. Misses. Misses. Sweet. Uh, then she will... Four dice left. Four dice left. We could Chinook again. I think we will. Going to teleport. Throw Gnome. Throws Gnome. Gnome go by. We'll throw the Gnome. Gnome, gnome didn't like that at all. Up here. Bye bye. And then she'll take a step and dodge. Head up the hill slightly. All right, so that's just your infiltrator left now. We go with the Iguan. She is going to lose her dodge. She will focus and take a shot with her crossbow to Dr. Mr. The... Actually, I don't need to focus through that. I really don't. And he's already gone, so it's just the infiltrator really left. Actually, we go with Piggly. And he's going to move, move, and then charge. Rah! And just be there. Mm -hmm. He's got his onslaught, which is a four plus. His big sword. Does he hit the elf? Crits, so that's plus six damage. Yep. Ah, seven. Can't reroll my own damage dice. Still got a dodge. We're good. Got it done. So it's and it's just now. you and the infiltrator. He's only got four actions as he shrugs off this poison. That's right. Ah, he was poisoned though too, remember? He is also I did poisoned. hit him with one. And what do we do? We could climb down. We only have four. And it's going to take two of them just to get down here. Three, four to dodge. That's it. Not ideal. One. So we're going to one, two, and focus dodge. Picked up now. You can without any difficulty. Yeah. Go dig one. Um, she's going to... I feel like I want to get supporting. Six and still shoot. And I'll still be able to see your Warden Justice anyway. So I'm going to go six down to here. It's not going to get me into reroll range. I should go six down to there. And then just take a shot at the Warden. Plus no cover because of my shooting, my hit. And then it's plus three damage to the crossbow. Eight. Not eight. And he's downed. And you get to place the relic within a half inch. So you could put it in between them to pick it up with him later. That was kind of the idea. Like that. Round two, you do get your recovery roll. Six plus, does he stand up? Oh, wait, good. No. no. And it's round three. Mm -hmm. All right, round three initiative. Let's see who's going first. Me. I got some options here. I actually think, because this lost the round, so that's gone now. He's actually the one to go. Um, he's going to charge the wizard. Uh, and hit with his dagger on a four. Dodge first, then charge the wizard, because I want to have that uh, sweet, sweet two dice pick the highest for damage. Hitting on a four. Reroll. Hits. And it's two pick the best for damage because I have a dodge token. Five is going to be seven total. Six, one damage. One damage. Damage again, or the dagger again on a four. Crank it. Two pick the best. I'll take the five. Three, take two. Down to one left. My third action, I guess we'll just do an improvised attack. Dodge, dodge charge free attack. Attack. Oh, so yeah. I have two left. So I'll make another stab. I, I shall focus then do it. Two dice on a four plus. Okay. Got it. Good thing I did. Two dice picked the highest for damage. Five total. Seven. Oh, she laughs. We couldn't seal the deal. You got some awesome dodge or some awesome defense rolls there. Infiltrator. Infiltrator. You need to get some work done this turn. He will first of five pick up the relic. Then he's plus one all of his difficulties, which is sweet. And damage. Second one, toss one of these guys on here. I think it's two pick the highest. Six. That's only five. That's only five, yeah. Do you have... Sure. 
Cool. Then we're gonna just uh, hum a knife at that guy. Okay. For number three, four plus. Miss. Misses. Hum a knife. Four plus. Crit. Is it plus one? Pardon me. Because the helm? It's still it's on a three. three. Yeah, it's it's on a three. Crit's on a four. That's yeah. right. Uh, so plus five. Okay, and I'm plus three because I'm in cover. And two dice pick the highest. So I get 11. 11? Uh, to my five. Five, six damage. I'm downed. Blah! Right in the egg one. Left. And he will start heading towards these guys. Sorry, Warden. Maybe he'll come back this turn. Well, then, uh, we need to get within a decay range of this gnome. Or we need to kill. Ah, we'll try and kill her. Oh, jeez. One left, so we'll do it with the destroyer pig. He's gonna focus. Hit. Hit. He'll just hit. Four plus. Do it. Hits. Plus four damage. Nine. Can't live. So she's down. Uh, then he's gonna move four and charge her. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll do my four plus again. Oh jeez, that's a potato. It's a crit, but whatever. Hits. Plus four. Nine. Dodging it. Plus good. Ten, you're good. And then I got one left. I could war tusk, which I will. On a three plus. I miss. Roll my own dice. So she's okay. Well, yeah. Gotta try and peace out. Gotta focus flashbang again. <laughs> do it. Because I can't fail this or else my actions just end. That's right. So I will push you onto the ledge. Sure. If I flashbang you again, I'll kill you. But you can only do it once. Yeah, whatever. You I'm there, yeah. I'm not engaged, which is the point. Yep, well, I'm stunned. I'm, you're immediately not engaged for stunning me. No, no, that doesn't stun you. The grenade stuns you. Oh, the grenade the push, stuns uh, me. Got that it. just pushes you out. So, bam. Okay, try and stun me now. Four plus. Hits. In the throat. So plus four against Igni. Plus. Two. That was a good roll. Ten. Six. six I'm down. You got me. And stuns dead everywhere, that's right. Huh? Uh, yeah, it's just you. That's just him. Yeah, I think we just move, move four to get into ninja range of you. So two, and then we'll focus fire. Hey, or? Mm, I've already moved, so if I decay to be two of my dice, I'd rather just focus shoot. Focus shoot ya. You're mixing them up. Corruption is the other one. Decay is the damage one. Decay is the damage one, yeah, yeah. Focus decay, sorry. Hits. Poison now. He's down, so it doesn't super matter. Uh, seven. We're gonna use our sweet, sweet dodge. dodge. We do have some cover this time, though. We're good. Didn't matter. And then we'll do it again on one dice, and then we'll dodge. So on one die. Hits. Plus two. Four. Plus two. You're good. <laughs> and then we'll dodge. Jax, so you've got two and I've got two. Warden. Oh, yeah, he's hits. back with one wound. And wizard. Does no. not. Iguan. Nope. And Piggly. No. Nope. Game changer right there. Round four. Yep. Shiv, who's going first? Well, it's definitely you. Wizard. Mr. Infiltrator. He will dodge. Yep. See, so it's his bonus dice. Second. Third. third fourth. Fourth to charge. And he wasn't poisoned this round. Correct. Three plus for the charge knife. Four is the crit. This is Last attack, one more time. You killed my lady now. <laughs> uh, well, that worked. Well then, we need to get some work done. So first, we need to kill this <laughs> Cleric of Justice again. This is rather. So we lose our dodge. Uh, we're gonna throw the anti-armor buff at him. Yep. And it's gonna fail. That would've been a terrible roll. Uh, <laughs> then we're gonna focus and for decay and oh. get it. Plus two, plus four, three. six. No, uh, didn't roll one. And we'll try one more time on a four. Missed. Dodge again. This, this is, is the, the schlub turn. This is the schlub turn. Everybody's tired, worn out. Cleric only has three dice. He's gonna focus inner piece. Okay. Gets it on a four. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, heals for D three. Oh no, he just heals three. He just heals three. So down to one, one damage. One damage. Uh, You're alive. Got another action to dodge with. You'll dodge first, because of course you will. Fight, let's use nice fast. Uh, we'll focus stab. Hit. And then plus two. That's oh, right, two up to the highest. That's seven. Use your dodge. No. Oh. Six. Six one takes one. Stab again on a four. Hits. Two pick the best. 
six. Twenty's the dodge. You have one more attack? No, this is it. I have one more attack. I can do a bash. Yeah, I don't care about bash. Dodge. <laughs> I should have entangled you. Is what I should have done. But I'll bash. Hit. Plus zero. Two pick. Two pick the rest though. Four. Two. two. Take two. Injured. And then that was dodge, focus attack, attack, attack. I'm done. Recover. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna do normally. Four. <laughs> Die. Point blank shot. Just shoot me uh, on the ground. We're gonna use gun. Oh god. <laughs> and focus. Five. No, it's just two dice. Okay. Yeah. Pow! Right in the kisser. Hits. Exactly enough, and you die. Plus yep. three done. Piggy's uh, down. And then she will just dodge. <laughs> hey, my guan. No, you're a witch. Oh no, <laughs> why? Things were bad before. Oh man, now things are getting worse. Terrible to super terrible. This is the last round. If I can somehow kill the infiltrator and run, I could still win this. Nope, you get to go first. All right, Mr. Infiltrator. Dodge. Yep. He will focus stab. Oh no, he only has four. Yeah, yep. he still focus stab. Okay. So he'll, this will be the Three plus. Two. Hits. Doesn't matter what the other die is. And then he's two dice. Pick, pick the, the highest. highest plus, plus three. Three. <gasps> oh, do I dodge? Do I have any damage on me? I don't have any damage on me. This is your last attack? I have one more. You have one more, so I don't dodge. I need to roll three plus. I'm fine. Good. Three. Hits. Hits. It. Two dice pick the highest. That's Eight. the better one. Uh, nine. Nine? Plus one for the helmet. Okay, I'll use my dodge. Oh, that's right, plus one for that one. Use my dodge. Uh, five. I take four. I'm down. You got me. Jeez, everything's gone horribly wrong. I don't I don't think there's anything I can do here. I can just try and down some folks. She could die. How much do you have left? She's full. Oh, she's full. I didn't even warn her. You went after him. Oh, that's right. And then he healed. Yeah, that's right. Oh, well, we'll go four. Walk down to here just to see this guy. He'll be in cover, though. And then we'll focus a shot. You drop it. And I, the elf is up. Yeah. So I have to shoot the elf, too, at some point. This is the... We'll shoot... We'll focus shoot the elf first, actually. And hit. Just for spite. Just for spite. Plus two. She's poisoned. Take can't, eight. Can't live. So oh, I have cover right You're up. Yeah, yeah. Roll six? No. <laughs> so she's back <laughs> she down. Goes. Because that means he can't pick up the relic if I manage this. I don't, because I can still use my Inspire for plus one dice. Oh, there you go. I can use this now. So four plus. I got it. And then it's plus two. Seven. I'm going to use my dodge. Yep. Five, two. Six, good. seven, eight. You're fine. Seven. And that was two, three, four. I have one left. I'll just dodge. You're holding the relic. It doesn't really matter what everybody else does. If you want to try and kill these guys, <laughs> go for it. Ugh. Dodge? <laughs> I'm, I'm dead. It <laughs> doesn't matter. No, that was just it. You dodge, uh, you're fine. I rolled eight, that's right. That's everything. See if anybody recovers. Does he recover? No. Does Squidly recover? No, I had nobody recover. So Everyone no. recovers. No. no. Uh, that's the end of the game. So you won this one. Rewards! The player who holds the rock at the end permanently gains the Quicken Fate Weave action. This action may be performed once per game from now on. And plus one action dice, which is amazing once per game. There are three Clash at Storm Height, and that'll be our final mission for the campaign. Uh, everyone heads back through the pass, basically, to the top of the mountain. One, everybody got a game. So that means that uh, this last one will be the determiner of who has won the campaign, the adversaries, the advocates. So here we go at the end of the game, the advocates taking it home against the adversaries. Um, and we're into mission number three, which will come up in two weeks as we round off the Storms of Corral and have our basically like showdown at the top of the mountain for the third relic. So see you then for that. Until then, I'm Ash. Stop programming. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Deathbird Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, uh, big thanks to everyone past, future, who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.